Hey everybody, welcome back to Conscientious Omnivore. My name is Pal. Out here at the uh, property today. Uh, nice overcast day, we've had a lot of rain. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys the uh, older, bigger compost pile, which I've uh, shown you guys in previous videos. Check them out if you haven't seen it. But uh, this pile used to be over, well over a meter tall, and now it's collapsed quite, uh, you know, quite a bit. I think it's probably maybe about a foot and a half, two feet tall at the tallest points. And uh, what we've decided is I didn't want to um, disturb the compost pile yet too much because there's a lot of wood and stuff in here. Uh, my original plan was to leave this uh, compost pile for at least like, I don't know, three, four years to let everything really break down. I have a lot of woody material as you can see here on the sides and then bigger pieces of wood. And there's even some kind of like, uh, you know, pine boards and stuff that were basically rotting away. Uh, they were untreated, so uh, I threw them in here as well. You can see some more sticking out over here. But uh, I figured I would just let this rot and keep adding, you know, grass and whatever. Uh, I haven't added any humanure to this in about a year. So um, it's totally safe from that point. It's a, you know, a fully um, ripe uh, compost ready to be used. But I just didn't want to go through the effort of, like, digging through all the wood and stuff. So one of the things we thought was, like, okay, every time we've tried to grow squash and, uh, you know, pumpkins and stuff like that, they, the only time we've really had good success was in the very first year of our gardening back in our old property when they grew up as volunteer plants from our compost pile. So, uh, and then they did wonderfully. Like I had a really good butternut squash uh, harvest that year, which I did videos about as well. So you can check those out if you haven't seen them. And uh, I figured, what the heck, why not plant our, uh, you know, squashes and pumpkins right into this pile? So that's what we've done. And uh, so far, so good. They are still kind of small, but you can see uh, we've got, I think, I don't know how many of this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them in here. And uh, I think they're doing pretty good. The only problem is uh, slugs a little bit seem to be liking the leaves. So like this one had a really nice leaf over here that got chewed off, but that big one's looking great now. And then that back one got really chewed up. Um, and that's just since yesterday. I hope the slugs kind of stop. Um, coming in into here but uh, I also cut down the bushes again here which I've talked about before those are the uh, about the rough height that I did when I took these sticks and kind of put, plugged them into the ground here and as you can see many of them have rooted so these are now clones of those plants and uh, a few other things that I've just brought in here as uh, stakes to use to kind of give me the edge of this uh, compost pile even have an elderberry here, which is pretty cool. I think I might clear out the uh, other bushes near it because I, I want to let this thing grow a little bit. But uh, so far, so good. I'm definitely going to keep an eye on this. And uh, I've had um, a few times in my life where we've just been traveling and seen how uh, well um, the uh, you know squashes and pumpkins do for people in compost piles and have always been amazed and so this is the first time I'm trying this but I, I am really hoping this is going to go well so make sure to subscribe if you want to see how this turns out as the summer progresses I'll do updates on it and uh, give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it let me know if you have any tips for uh, you know kind of vegan options for dealing with the slugs um, or maybe it's something else that's chewing up the leaves I don't know I just kind of assume it's slugs because we have uh, a few snails and stuff don't have very many slugs here. I, I actually should clarify that we have a lot of snails here, but I have very few slugs. Um, and I don't know if there's a difference, but to my understanding, the slugs do a lot more damage than the snails. Uh, my brother was telling me that the snails actually eat the uh, the young of the uh, slugs. So I don't know if I don't know exactly what's chewing things up here, but uh, in in any case, I I'm going to keep an eye on it. But if if you have any tips for um, you know, basically not killing them. I don't want to like kill them. Um, but maybe if there's something I can plant that they like better somewhere nearby or, you know, in the middle of this patch here or whatever, then let me know. And, uh, I would greatly appreciate that. So that's it for this video. I'm uh, going to keep it short. Like I say, uh, make sure to check back or subscribe if you want to see how this uh, progresses through the summer. And I will definitely show you guys, uh, what we harvest. Uh, hopefully there will be something to harvest. And I will let you guys know either way. All right. Cheers. Bye.